Hi folks, Scott here. We've got a nice surprise for you this week. Scott Kelby was recently vacationing in Maine and we were able to hang with him for a while, do some shooting, and while we were with him, he was kind enough to shoot a long exposure tutorial for us. And uh, so that's what we have for you this week. I hope you enjoy it. Here it is. Hi everybody, Scott Kelby here, and I've got a tip for shooting long exposure black and white images. Of course, we're gonna shoot in color. We'll convert it to black and white later, but there's a couple of things you need to do and a couple of accessories you need to have to make this happen. Well, not just to make it happen, but to make it happen outdoors in the middle of the day, because that's the beauty of it. With some of these long exposures, you, can, you don't have to wait till night, you can shoot in the middle of the day like we are here. But it requires a couple of things. One of them is you're gonna need a neutral density filter. I happen to have one here. This particular one is a German made one. It's from BW, and uh, they make really, really nice quality filters. And this one is a 10 stop neutral density filter that means is it's going to darken the scene by 10 stops. That's the trick to leaving your shutter open for minutes at a time in the middle of the day is you've got to make it super, super dark. So that's one of the things you need. The second thing you're going to need to do this because your shutter is going to be open for literally minutes at a time, you're going to need a tripod. Lastly, because you can't have anything touching while this, once that shutter's open, you can't have anything moving, you're going to need a cable release to make it that much steadier. So what you're going to do is you're going to press the button and the shutter is going to stay open as long as you have this button held down and then you're going to release. To do that you have to switch to manual mode and you're going to set your shutter speed to bulb mode. B-U-L-B bulb. What that means is it stays open as long as you press the button. So a couple things to set up with. First, your ISO. You're going to use the lowest ISO you can get away with for your camera. So for most Nikon DSLRs, that would be 200 ISO. For most Canon DSLRs, that would be 100 ISO. So we'll set that. We're in manual mode. My f-stop, I want to shoot at an f-stop that's going to have everything in focus. So f11 or higher. I'm, I'm on f11 today. Now, because this filter is so dark, you have to focus before you put the filter on. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. I'm gonna kinda make sure my focus is set. Let me just move it right there. All right, my focus is locked in. I go and turn my focus from automatic to manual. Now the focus isn't gonna move. Next, we put the filter on the front of the camera. So I'm screwing that on right now. It's so dark, there's no way you can even see through it at this point, because I just made it 10 stops darker. But here's the other thing. You're going to be open for minutes at a time. So what we're going to need to do is actually keep any extra light from coming in the viewfinder. From coming in the eyepiece from the viewfinder, you can pick up some ambient light. So if you have black gaffer's tape, put it over there before you shoot. In my case, there's actually a little door on this camera. I can actually close it so now it's completely closed and no extra light's going to get in there. Alrighty? So now we're set. We're on our tripod, 200 ISO. We have this set to bulb mode, and you'll notice I've even taken off the camera strap because it's a little windy, and that and that's will be often the case when you're outside. I don't want the camera strap lightly touching this. You want to stay away from this stuff from the moment you hit this button. One last thing, have a timer. I'm using my iPhone timer. We're gonna go to the stopwatch setting, and I'm gonna go for two minutes. We're just gonna do a two minute exposure. Ready? I hit this start button. All right, now you're gonna have to leave this open for two minutes. Am I gonna stand here for two minutes? No, through the magic of video editing and other stuff that I don't understand, this two minutes will go by incredibly quickly. Two minutes, we release the shutter and see what we got. Well, there's the look we're looking for. We're looking for that silky movement. Now, a key to this is we're shooting in water and that's a very, very popular place to shoot for this kind of look. That way, the poles in the water stay perfectly still. So you'll see this done with docks, You'll see this done with shipwrecks. You'll see this done with anything that's going to say, stay perfectly still while there's movement, while the water moves and that's what creates it. Also, we kind of have a cloudless sky tonight, but sometimes if you have clouds in the sky, the sky will get that same silky look. Well, those are the tips and the techniques and the gear you need to have to be able to do long exposure black and white. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I want to thank Scott for doing it for us and for you. And if you should use the tutorial and do your own long exposure shot, we would love to see what you've done and share it with our readers. So that's it for this week. Thank you for coming to Weekly Photo Tips on YouTube. We'll see you next time.